Good morning, it's about quarter to 12 on Monday morning. Very soon to be afternoon. I'm just about to be on coffee number two of the day. I've been up since about nine. I have been working on the vlog. I've had a bath and I've had my breakfast and I've just got a bit more vlog work to do. Izzy's apparently too ill to go to college today. She's just phoned me up. You know, I was um, saying yesterday that she's had her dose lowered of her medication to try to combat the nausea a bit and kind of find a balance between skin management and nausea. Well. Day two of nausea today, so she's missing college. But the thing is, we did the jab on Saturday. And if we'd have done it on Friday, she'd have probably been okay by now. So we have learned from this. We're gonna do the jab on Friday night. Thing is, if she's got something she wants to do on Saturday, she doesn't wanna have the jab Friday night because she's gonna feel sick on Saturday. So then we thought, oh, she's got all Sunday to recover. Have the jab Saturday night. And it's turned into like a two day hangover. So, oh, such a problem. This has reminded me a lot of an ongoing kind of stress of homeschooling, which was I had to get all these things planned out for her and I'd have a very clear image in my mind of what I wanted her to cover and by what deadline, you know, just to be in line with the schools, which you don't need to do when you're home ed, but I did, you know, like to put this pressure on myself for some reason. And then day after day after day, there would be some sort of medical complication which would diminish her functionality in some way you know and she'd need to keep stopping and starting and having rests or just not do anything at all and yeah it just reminded me of that it's so frustrating when you just want to move forward in life and there's just this ongoing yo-yo of health issue <sighs> So that's put a little bit of a dampener on things. So I was really feeling very upbeat until that. I've got a written list of to-dos and I'm quite determined I'm going to get through them today. Normally what happens is I have this lovely ambitious list of to-dos and I end up doing about a third of them and then rescheduling the rest for the next day. And then they still get usurped by other things that come in that take priority and then they get shifted and shifted and then they start to niggle at me then, the ones that have just been shifted and shifted and shifted and shifted. I just want to get them done. Oh, and another thing I've been doing this morning is trying to get into the NHS training for being a healthcare assistant. Still just, I keep reaching dead ends every phone call I make. So I've decided I'm gonna try the job center. Somebody suggested it in the comments. I'm going to try it. It's about five to one now. And I'm making myself some rubbish to eat. Basically cheese ravioli out of a tin. Yes, not being very healthy today. I just want to uh, eat something quick and get on really. I have got some veg left in my fridge, but my boyfriend's coming over later, so I want to make him a lovely big veggie stew, so I didn't want to use it up on my lunch. And I'm also thinking, I'd like to make him a pie. I'm very fueled by my success with the ready to roll puff pastry from the other day. And I've got a tin of cherry pie filling in the cupboard that I've had ages. So it's a bit of a novelty for me. Oh gosh. A novelty to be using ready to roll puff pastry because Izzy can't eat it the lemon juice in the ingredients but she's not here she's away so why don't I get cooking with it so I think what I'll do after lunch is I'll go to the job center and inquire see if there's any way they can help me to get in touch with the NHS about staff training and also go to Tesco buy some more pastry and maybe some double cream as well to go on the side I think that would be nice. be a nice surprise for him, wouldn't it? I suppose I might as well play race the microwave and put a few of these clean things away, now that they have air-dried. Here comes my lunch! <laughs> Oops. I am just about to get my shoes on, ready to go out. Guess what? I am feeling rather proud of myself. I've just finally set up Apple Pay on my phone. I thought it was going to be scary and impossible to do, but it was actually so ridiculously easy. I'm just wondering why I didn't do it years ago. But anyway, yeah, I thought I'd better. After the near disaster, that was the bus the other day when it wouldn't accept my card because it needed a pin and there was no means to put in a pin. But I wouldn't get that now, so now all I have to do is learn how to pay with Apple Pay, but I think you literally just scan it like a card, contactless. But we'll see. Yeah, if you've got an iPhone and you've got a wallet icon, well, it, there will be. There's like a default app. It's called Wallet. If you can't find it, you know, go to the end and click write Wallet in the search box and it'll come up. And then there's a little cross on the top right corner of the screen. You click on that and it says Add Card. It gives you a little frame and you just hold it over your bank card, scan it in. You confirm the numbers, just double check it and press Done and that's about it then.
you're done and then if you've lost your purse or you forgot to bring it or anything like that you can just pay with your phone anyway i am going to the job center principally with the aim of trying to get into the nhs thingy but i'm quite open-minded about it i mean if they've got any other suggestions of what might suit me that's flexible and with the potential to be part-time if i've got gigs and all that i'd be willing to look into other things let's see what they've got to suggest at my age don't know where i'll get a reference from mind i haven't um I've not had a day job in, well, 16 years, I suppose. Maybe a band person could. I don't know, I'm hard working and conscientious. Must count for something. Let's go. I lasted about 60 seconds in the job centre. They've sent me to Careers Wales instead. Whenever I ask anybody, they send me somewhere else. But anyway, I'm out now, so I'm going to Tesco's. I'm in Tesco. I was looking for masks. Can you believe it? I've run out again. They disappear. Anyway, I've come out of the clothing section where I was looking for them because there's a lady there coughing and she'd taken a mask off to cough and then putting it back up again. <laughs> So, that's unusual. I'm in the totally wrong section now. Look, they've got ready rolled pizza dough. We had some of this the other day. Well, it was Waitrose version, but it was so good. Really amazing. Mind you, it was done in a wood fired oven. Uh, right, I think this is what I want. One pound five, excellent. Double cream to go with the cherry pie. It's just that and curry powder really, if I can't get masks. Ooh, good. Veggie sausages, 144. Oh, they do these free from soya yogurts here. Exactly the same as the Asda ones, I think, apart from the paper bit. I'm gonna get some of those. Passion fruit and raspberry, is he definitely can't eat those. Oh, I say they're the same, they're not, they're a different flavor. They've only got strawberry and lemon in Asda. Well, last time I looked. I'm gonna get some Alpro soya yogurt as well. Um, I'm getting confused now. That's just plain. That's a coconut, £1.60. So, oh no, it says vanilla. Vanilla? I don't know if I'm going to like the plain coconut, but do you know what? I'm going to give it a try. It's probably better for me. Well, I think Mission Tesco's was more successful than Mission Job Centre. Oh, and at least I had a bit of a walk, a bit of exercise. I've been thinking about this Alpro plain coconut, oh, with coconut yoghurt, all the way back from Tesco. I'm very curious. Ew! To try it, that's just gone there, 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 and here, at, yeah, some on the beans too. Last time I tried plain soya yoghurt, I thought it was revolting. I can smell the coconut already. I was probably a mixture of expressions then because I had a, oh delicious, oh gross, oh not sure, combo. Well, it was a sequence. Yeah, I quite like it, I think. It's like a mixture of tastes. It's a little bit sour, as you would expect of natural yogurt. Excuse me, just cleaning that off the arm. It's sweet, I wasn't expecting it to be sweet. I think, well, I taste soya. It has to have soya in it. I'll check, but I don't think it's soya free and it does taste of coconut. It's actually really, really, really nice. I could sit and eat the whole lot, but I better not. Mmm. Right, let's have a look what's in it. Excuse me. Ingredients, soya base, coconut milk, coconut cream, bit of salt. Oh yeah, there is sugar in it, but it comes after coconut milk and coconut cream. And it's got like, you know, the bacteria in it that you want, the good bacteria. I'm going to pour myself a bowl and have some now. I'm probably I'm trying to decide whether to try Careers Wales next or, but I have got some other things to do. I need to try and organise Izzy's allergy appointment because she's not going to get off that medication until her eyes are perfect and she's not going to get her eyes perfect unless an allergy specialist can sort her out. But if she can get onto the other medication, she might not have the nausea side effects. Izzy did ring me actually and she said, again that she'd been communicating with the other kids in her class and apparently a lot of them are feeling ill and they have been all weekend so it seems to me like it might not be side effects it might be a bug 
but anyway i still need to organize her appointment and also she's supposed to have liquid folic acid supplement because she will not take pills and they couldn't stock it at the chemist so i've got to get another prescription for something different like a different brand it's half past three now i've been a busy girl up in bedroom office i have organized an appointment to allergy clinic for isabel i have not ordered her blood test to be done on the same day in the same hospital but there is a paediatric bloods department and i got as far as getting their number uh, but i couldn't get through there's no answer so i'll try them again tomorrow what else have i done i had a brainwave i ordered a pill crusher because some of busy's pills cannot be crushed but some of them can and i'm betting a folic acid supplement can be crushed i will check but i'm sure there's no reason why i can't crush up a folic acid tablet and mix it with a spoonful of honey or something like that to get it down her neck so if everything else fails and we can't get the syrup there should be a pill crusher arriving in this house in a couple of days from amazon so yay go me why didn't i think of that earlier i didn't actually know they existed it just suddenly occurred to me while i was on the do Ooh, i wonder if pill crushers exist i wonder if they're a thing checked on amazon whilst sitting on the loo and lo and behold there it was i had it added to the basket before i'd finished going to the loo <laughs> i left a message with the dermatologist secretary as well about getting the solution so two bases covered and all that now because my boyfriend's coming here and i want to spend some time with him this evening i'm going to do some editing now and make coffee in the other order make coffee then edit and then i'm going to only do that for about an hour and then i'm going to go practice my flute because i think he's going to come too late to play tunes together so i'm going to try and do it before he comes and then i'm going to cook his dinner and hopefully all that timing works out. It's a bit later now. In fact, it's quarter to six. I did a bit of flute practice and then IB texted. It's, ETA's been going up and down, up and down, up and down, and up and down. And I thought I had a bit more time than I did. And then he texted an ETA and it was like, oh, I better go start cooking. So I have not timed things very well. That's a big healthy stew to be that needs to be cooked. And it's really all crunchy and hard and he's due in five minutes. So that's going to be later than he thought. And the pie. Well, I haven't really got a pie dish. I've got this pie rex. Does that count? It's got pie in the title. I feel I'd leave the paper on because, you know, it'd be easier to get out then, wouldn't it? Um, I'm just going to dollop the pie filling in there and then unroll that and squish it all together. Fold it over the top, you know. I reckon that'll work. Let's give it a go. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, sweet and cherry-like. Mm. So I've dolloped it in. Right. Is this going to work? My cunning plan just folded over. Certainly not going to work if I've got a camera in one hand and I've left my um, quick release plate somewhere. I can't attach it to the tripod without going rummaging or taking time to take a bit off my tripod. Right, okay. I'll just put it down and then I'll show you. Hey, looking unconventional. But you know me, I have never been one to be restricted by convention. Well, maybe probably a bit, but... I think it's okay. Do I need to do holes in it so it doesn't explode? Is that why people put holes in pies? One, two, there. Is that what you're supposed to do? Right, I'm going to put it in the oven. The stew was nice, and now look, we're going to have the pie. Mm. Had a bit of a jump forward in time now. It's what time is it? Quarter to nine. I, B, and I have been out for a walk in the dark and the rain. Uh, but anyway, if you've enjoyed today's video, would you please give it a like? It really helps the channel grow. And I so appreciate it. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!